walk around. This is my 98 Honda Civic LX. Just picked this up. This is my old front end off of my sedan that's in there. Took the front end off of this. Put it on my car because it's a lot cleaner. D16Y7, non-VTEC, dirty, gross. Um, it had good tires on it. Gave them to Kenji. Switch out with his. Guy in the back there. Bumper. Um, right there, it's straight piped. The muffler fell off the other day. Bumper is bungee corded up. Rice, JDM. Um, it's manual. It's in decent shape. 258,000 miles. I took the center console because it was nice. Put it in the sedan. Taking all the parts I want off of this. It's got, I might even take the doors. But that one's a little fucked, but I could probably fix it because it got hit. It's got power uh, windows, power locks. And yeah. Not too bad. So right now, um, I'm gonna disconnect the AC. Um, just gonna pull this whole engine, take this motor, put it in this car. You know what car this is. It's just been sitting. Piece of fucking shit, honestly. But, I love it. Can't get rid of it. I just want it running, or at least having an engine in it. So, there's something to work on when I'm bored, but... Yeah, so, yeah. One sec. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. <laughs> there was a whole fucking cloud. That shit sounded like a tire pot. I was not expecting that. Don't want to breathe this shit in, you know? Probably going to go over in the garage for a sec. I'll show you the B18 sedan. Kind of shaking right now. Scared the fucking shit out of me, dude. I'm fucking shaking. Oof, da, dude. Holy shit. Um, I didn't really record much of me putting this in. Pretty much just recorded how to do the clutch and stuff like that. Uh, damn, dude, that's that shit scared the hell out of me. Holy fuck. But here she is. Um, I had to get a different motor mount. This... Oh, I've been having so much troubles with this car. So I ordered Yonaka motor mounts. Oh my god, dude. I'm still like shaking. Holy shit. Okay, so I ordered Yonaka motor mounts. I thought they'd be right. It came with that handy dandy bracket to convert it from like this to this. But that has three and this has two. So I ordered. These were 70 bucks. I only used two of the mounts plus a bracket. So then I ordered this. Thinking it'd be right, because it's got three, right? But then, if you look at this, this motor mount right here is way wider than this one. So it would not fit in the bracket. So, and this was 70 bucks alone. I'm going to freaking give them a shitty-ass review, NYPPD. 70 bucks, useless. So I had to go to AutoZone and get this $90 freaking stock bracket. Or not bracket, mount. And it was still too wide. But this one, I couldn't really do anything about it. Because it's like... Like, shit. Another thing. Look at this mount, bro. This is the mount. Like, there's nothing in there. And all it is is this. Like, that's bunk. Like, that's the bunkish $70 ever, like... Fuck that. So I got this one. This one was 90 bucks. And it had like little 
metal like things that stuck out on both sides so I just grind grinded it down plus it's still scraping right there against the bracket but I had to grind down the bracket a shit ton if you can't tell so yeah I eventually got that in there so I have to put the T bracket in that's well, pretty solid but yeah I had to pay another 60 bucks for this innovative bracket and yeah it's kind of pain in the ass with motor mounts there's the other one back there but other than that she's looking pretty pretty fucking fresh and this is the front end off that other car um the hood is sitting right there got a little dent in the front but there's nothing I can't fix these fenders are like flawless other than like a little dent right there and they're not rusty there's no rust at all on them um, this front bumper is decent other than this but nothing some bondo can't fix clear coat starting to peel but other than that it's a good bumper paint the engine bay all nice um, yeah, inside the car, <sighs> got a new tack, sorry about the light, but, yeah, but I got this out of a 98 HX, something like that, um, I got one gauge right here, water temp, I'm gonna have a boost for eventually and a voltage for the battery, and uh, shit, sorry about the lights, sorry if you can't see this. These wires went to the automatic shifter. Still haven't done this yet, but some of these you gotta like cap off and connect and to make it think it's in neutral and shit like that. Um, this big hole right here I cut out. I just literally took an angle grinder with a cut off wheel and just cut this out. Just a big hole right here. I'm gonna patch it with license plates. Um, I drilled two holes for the shift linkage. And yeah, so it's pretty mint. Let's get back to this. I was thinking the one I disconnected wasn't even the pressurized one, but I guess not. So that shit scared the fuck out of me. So yeah, let's, let's get back to this. Real quick. Freon smells like shit. It's all wet. What the fuck? Damn, I need to get another Crescent wrench to hold the other bolt. I'll be right back. So I ended up just grabbing a vice grip. Should work. Free on all over my hands. Can't even touch it. I think the L on this one stands for low, and the H on this one stands for high, as in low pressure and high pressure. So, you know. I don't just connect, just disconnect easily. Um, I just wanted to disconnect this outside because then I could just pull it right in the garage afterwards and just start tearing this thing apart. So, yeah. This thing is full parts car. Probably gonna just take everything, like, just like my coupe. I don't know if I ever even posted any, I don't think I did in any of those videos. But my old purple coupe, I got it back, and I took that thing completely apart. Like, all the suspension, the entire engine, everything in the engine bay, the entire interior, the doors, sunroof, trunk, taillights, headlights, everything. And the B18s in the sedan, which I've been working on. If you guys want to buy this uh, 95 Honda Civic EX coupe, hit me up.
Um, replacing the brakes, all brakes all the way around, drilled and slotted in the head gasket. And then I don't know about this thing yet, but yeah. All right, right now, here's the new whip I got. Not the B18 one, this is a piece of shit. Uh, I'm pulling the engine out of it. Runs good, five speed. Um, basically pulling the motor out, taking all the parts I want, and junking it. Um, what I've gotten done right now, i got the hood off, fenders off, headlights. Uh, in the other video, the clip I got, I discharged the AC, and that shit was fucking gnarly. I'm um, working on taking the, this AC out, then I'm going to drain the coolant, and then take all the coolant hoses off, and just start disconnecting shit, so, yeah. I'll just make a quick update real quick. Here's a sedan. I don't know if I made a video on this last night. I can't remember, but we'll check. Um, There's all the stuff I got off last night. All the AC, the radiator, the cooling pump shit, that mount, that mount, um, the hood, fenders, headlights. So basically now all I got to do, got the header bolts loose. I just got to disconnect it from the bottom. That bolt, there's another bolt down there. Uh, disconnect the power steering. All the necessary hoses. Coolant hoses back there. Fuel line. Um, motor mounts, shift linkage, axles. And shift linkage and axles I'm going to do right now. Um, I got this handy dandy tool to take out the shift linkage. I got this air hammer for $10 at Harbor Freight. Little air hammer. And I got this special little tool to like press out the bitch pin. And one second. Use a bitch pin on it. It just fits perfectly. And it just hammers it up and it comes right out real easy. It's like a five second job with this. Instead of hammering at it, breaking bolts and doing all the getaways. It's really easy. And if you don't have an air hammer, even if you get this tool, all you gotta do is just hammer the bottom and it comes out like this is like the perfect tool to do it so yeah alright guys sorry about the noise of my air compressor but uh, I'm draining the coolant right now in the car um, I'm trying to get all the coolant out so this is what I got contrapped here here's my air hose and the little blow gun and I got a vice grip and a vice grip but it still escapes here so I'm gonna hold this and press down at the same time there now you can hear me and yeah, so let's see if this works. Smoking out of here. Vape, bro. <laughs> I think that's good enough for draining the coolant. Coolant looks kind of gross, but I mean decent. Not oily at all, so that's a good sign. All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, quick update. Sedan. Um, got the engine completely ready to pull. Axles are out. Everything's out. Um, now all I gotta do is lo loosen this bolt right here, and this bolt right here, and this thing will come out. Um, I got the leveler all hooked up. I usually connect this one. To that transmission bolt right there. That always works good. It keeps it kind of level. Um, I probably won't record much of uh, me taking it out. Got the whole wiring harness disconnected. Everything's disconnected. Disconnected the T bracket. Um, yeah. Disconnect the headers. Just gotta take these off and pull them back. I'm not disconnecting them from the bottom because it's all rusty. And I, I don't want to mess with it, so I'll just pull this back and then get it out. But as you can see, 
motor is pretty loose, so yeah, I'll update you guys once I get it out. All right, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Take out the bitch pin with this. Basically, you just put that on there. Let me get my light fixed again. And then, and it's out. Where is it here? Somewhere here, but it's out of there. And then, there's your shift linkage right there. Easiest shit ever. All right, now I got the shift linkage fully disconnected from the transmission right up there so yeah Here we are, no engine, here she is, pretty sludgy down there, otherwise it's a pretty good motor, ran decent, I did beat the shit out of it, redlined it a lot, but you know, it still ran fine, no lifter tick or nothing, like when this thing idled it was silent, even with like the broken exhaust, so. Yeah, now I'm going to get start taking this thing apart, take the tranny off, replace the clutch, put my other tranny on, change the intake manifold, distributor, put my old wiring harness on, and then, yeah, probably uh, get it in the car then.